Today on the Transplant Health, we're going to be doing a full review of the VOG mask. Now, if you're not familiar with what a VOG mask is, or maybe you are and you've been considering purchasing one, but maybe the cost has been what has kept you from it, today's episode will help you to understand how important these things are and how effective they can be. So go ahead and stay tuned. Hey folks, welcome to Transplant with Today. My name is Jim Merle, and yeah, you can probably already tell this is not exactly the mask I had on just a moment ago, and that's exactly right. It's not the mask. It's not anything like the Vogue mask, but as a matter of fact, I wanted to present it to you just to remind you of something. This is more than likely similar to the mask that was given to you when you left the hospital post-transplant, or like if you're a cancer patient, if you're immunosuppressed, Maybe it's what the doctor hands you before you walk out to go back into that scary, scary world. And this is often the mask that we might wear within the first six weeks, 12 weeks, or even up to a year after transplant when we're going to be out in big crowds in airports and other places. But you have to do like I have done and question whether or not this mask is even effective. With all the air leaking around the edges, feeling of the cloth itself, and understanding it's made out of nearly nothing. And then on top of that, the uncomfortableness of it with these terrible straps that feel like sandpaper. You really look forward to the opportunity when you can just pull this thing off and throw it away. But if you're like I am because you enjoy life and you want to be protected from colds and flus and viruses and all of that, being immunosuppressed, you've probably been looking for some other options. And today, I'm going to be presenting to you what I believe to be a very, very good option in the world of masks that can help you out. Now, let me say as a disclaimer right now that Vogue Masks actually sent me out three of the masks I'm going to show you today. I've gotten four, but they actually sent me out three of these masks free of charge. And so if you'll stick around to the very end of the program, I'd be more than happy to give those away. But with that said, just understand I was given this product by them to review, but at the same time, you got to admit, if you know me, you know I'm going to be honest in this review, give you the good, the bad, the ugly if you will. But with that said, let's jump right into looking at this product to an extent. And I'll start out with the one that I have owned for quite a few months myself already. This is the one I purchased from Vogue Mask. And basically what it has to do with is an inner inner cloth, if you will. They call it the face blank. Inside of that, they have an N99 filter. Now, if you're not familiar with what an N99 filter is, basically filters come in a few different categories. You can either get an N, a R, or a P. The R's and the P's are effective against oil-based paints, that sort of thing. That's not what we're dealing with. That's not what we're looking for, as a matter of fact. The N's, however, will not deal with oil-based paints and other things like that. However, they are also effective in their own right, particularly when it comes to dust and particles and viruses, that sort of thing in the air. They're very effective. Now, even the N's, the R's, and the P's, all come in 95, 99, and 100 ratings. Of course, the number there being the higher that it is, that's talking about the number of particulates or the percentage of particulates that can be filtered out by any given mask. And this being an N99 filter, it's going to be filtering about 99% of particulates or things that you might come in contact on a daily basis, so pretty good math. But inside of that 99 filter working out, in addition to that, you have a carbon uh, fiber filter that's added in that helps out with strength as well as, again, helps out with another level of filtration that really makes this a pretty good mask. And of course, outside of that, you got the outer shell, and this is another area in which Vogue mask really shines. And I'll show you. This one happens to be the black. In addition to that, they come in multiple, multiple colors. You can probably see I don't know, dozens or a hundred colors. I don't know, but dozens and dozens of colors at least available on the website, each of them having their own distinct look. And I'll just try to open a couple of these right quick that they sent me out. Uh, This one, as a matter of fact, that I'm showing you, uh, probably in the camera has almost a camouflage look. That's not really what it is. It's more of a triangle type pattern. This is the hero. And I think this one is absolutely awesome. I think it looks good. I think it's something that's going to be stylish. You'll be willing to wear That's the hero, and again, I'll be giving that one away sometime toward the end of the program. In addition to that, they sent me out yet another one of these products. This one is called the 8-Bit, and this one right here, for all of you gamers out there, especially you retro gamers, this is an awesome little mask. I call it the Nintendo mask. They call it the 8-Bit, but anyway, it's a good-looking mask. Same technology inside, just a whole different look. And then the last one that they sent me here, they call this one Blue Jeans. And if you want to guess why that is, it pretty much looks like an old 
a pair of blue jeans. Not tattered necessarily, but kind of got a bluer look here and the blacker look here. Kind of a faded set of blue jean look. All great masks. But let me show you a few things about the masks that you have to know before you start wearing them. Number one, you have to choose the right size. They come in small, medium, and large. The small masks basically are for children. Basically, children probably under eight or nine years old. I don't know. You can look on their website for that information. The uh, mediums then are good for most women. Most women fit in the medium category. You really have to go more along the lines of your face size than anything, but the mediums are good for women. And then the larges are for even larger women, if you will, not not say anything bad, but also mostly for men. Like I'm a man, I'm six foot one, I weigh 200 pounds almost, and so basically the large is the mask I had to get. And what you're getting here, and I'm putting this one back on, what you're getting here when you put on the mask, you, you're kind of looking for a few different things. A lot of people complain about the straps kind of pulling their ears forward. Hey, I got big ears, what do I care? And they can do that. So sometimes you need to stretch the straps a little bit Kind of work them in when you first put it on. In addition to that, one of the most important things you need to understand is that in order for the mask to be effective, it has to have a seal around it. And that seal is not going to be totally airtight, if you will. And I'm having more trouble breathing in it, but that's okay. I'm talking fast. But it's got to have a seal around the outside of it. It's got to be pretty much sealed. So if you're going to be a guy, especially who wears a big beard, this may not be your choice because it's going to keep from sealing. But make sure it fits in order to seal around the edges, especially around the bottom. And then inside, I'm going to take it off. Inside, it's got a little bit of a metal nose piece right here that's bendable, and that's what you're going to be putting up and forming to your nose until you feel that seal. And you know the seal is right when you're breathing in, when you begin to feel the mask itself collapsing. And you might have noticed that just a moment ago when I was wearing it. But anyway, now, as far as exhalation or air going out goes, this is where the fog mask shines again because they have these valves placed within there. And basically, it's a double-sided plastic piece with a little bit of rubber in between that works as a kind of a flap or a valve to open and close and to let that air out. And it doesn't, it closes off to keep air from coming in. That way, all the air has to go through the filtration of the N99 as well as the carbon fiber and the two pieces of cloth. But it closes off when air comes in. But when you go to exhale or blow out, it basically opens up and lets that air come out. And that can be extremely handy, especially for someone, say, who wears glasses. Because with your glasses on, you're not going to deal with nearly the air coming out up here or trying to come out up here. Therefore, your glasses are not going to be as likely to fog. It also helps with moisture on the inside. It helps with keeping the mask cooler. All these things come into effect because the fog mask is that well designed. And of course, the mask I showed you a minute ago, that papery, clothy thing that's not worth a dime, in my opinion, uh, that mask doesn't have any of those features, so they're not going to be nearly as effective. Now, here's what I did. I took this mask, the one that I already had owned, I took this mask and decided to put it through its paces. I really decided just to step the game up, wear this mask on a continual one-week basis, and decide if it's really something I wanted to use even on a more regular basis. And here's what happened to occur in my life. I order this mask. It comes in literally, literally. The day it came in, my wife had to be admitted to the hospital. She started out in the emergency room, and so here goes Jim Merle, the transplant helper, the heart transplant guy who doesn't need to be around sick people in the height of flu season, the most terrible flu season we've had in decades around here. Here I go into the emergency room, and what do I take? I take my mask, and I wear it. I wear it all day that day. She has a little surgery the next day. I wear it all day during the surgery, so I'm in and out of the hospital. Before you know it, the next day or two, it's time for me to go to my clinic visits, to visit patients like I often do in the hospital. What am I saying? I'm saying I was in the hospital during the peak of flu season wearing this mask, and it was absolutely awesome. Now, why do I say it was awesome? Number one, for me, it's a really good fit. Everybody's face is going to be different. That's why you have to be careful about getting the small, the medium, or large. I happen to know how to fit these pretty well. I used to work in the cabinet industry and actually worked in the paint room where we painted the cabinets. And so I've been around uh, those who wear, you know, real full-blown respirators. I've worn respirators myself in the past. I'm kind of familiar with this type of feeling, at least, of having the air just a little bit stifled off. But for me, it was a good fit. It was very, very comfortable. 
Uh, these these straps right here are covered in a really soft cloth. They're they're very stretchy, but at the same time just strong enough. Again, some complain they tug on your ears, uh, maybe just a tiny bit, but not really a problem for me because it's so much more comfortable than the paper or cloth mask. Yeah, I'll take that any day. The straps are comfortable. As far as the looks, I mean, you can't beat it. Uh, you got the, the black right here. Uh, this one again was the uh, the hero, the eight bit. Um, the Blue Jean and their website, I won't pull it up here behind me, but their website is loaded. If you're a girl, a guy, a kid, it doesn't matter. They got something for everybody. The website's loaded. It's a great look, and it really feels effective. You know, when you can feel the fact that when you inhale, that that mask kind of collapses against your face, to me, that's reminding me that, yeah, it's doing something. When you exhale and the air goes out easily through that one-way valve, that's a huge plus, and so I think it's very, very effective. Now, some complain that it can be a little bit hot. Yeah, I get that. I wasn't wearing mine, if you will, in the dead of summer. However, it just happened to be in Alabama when I was wearing it. I think it was like 75 degrees all week, and I didn't get uncomfortable. Again, I've had some experience with respirators before, so this was no big whoop. But nonetheless, you know, it, I, I get that, but maybe that's the price you pay. Do you want to be safe? Do you want to be protected? Do you want to stay away from colds, flus, and viruses and help yourself out? If you do, yeah, uh, deal with it a little bit. You know, pop it off every now and then, wipe, wipe around your nose. Whatever's bothering you, deal with it, I think you can. Now, some people question the price. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link beneath the video here in the description in a moment to Amazon and to their actual website. Be sure you're ordering from Vogue Mask, even if you go through Amazon. I'll put some links below the video. If you like to order one, twenty to thirty dollars, certainly more than the say fifteen cent uh, mask that you might get, the paper mask, but well, well worth it. Overall, I think it is a great mask. It did everything I wanted it to do. It was comfortable. I wasn't ashamed to wear it in public. I got a number of people actually asking about the mask. You know, hey, where'd you get that? You know, we were in the middle of flu season. People were wearing masks in Walmart and down to the grocery store. So people were asking questions. So hopefully, you know, even through that, I sold a few Vogue masks for, for you guys, Vogue. Appreciate you sending me these out. But you know, I thought it was a good mask. And if I had had to pay for all of these, $30 a pop, I would certainly do it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be buying some. I'll give these away, but I'll buy some more for my family and my friends and give them out, you know, as gifts that way, because I think it's that important. Now, when it came down to the ultimate task, and if you stay through all the way to the end, you're going to enjoy this. When it came down to the ultimate task, whether or not the mask was effective, I couldn't decide exactly how I would test that other than I thought, you know what, if you can smell certain things, it's probably not keeping those things out. It's probably not protecting you. So food, cooking, you know, that sort of thing, things like that in the kitchen, if you can smell that, it's probably keep not, you know, if you can smell that, it's probably not keeping it out. But if you don't smell it as much, it's helping, okay? Well, my ultimate way of testing this comes down to the fact, and some of you already know this, that I have five children. And three of my five children are under three years old. So I've got a three-year-old, a two-year-old, and a one-year-old, all of which make those diapers. You know what I'm talking about. As a matter of fact, I went and got my trash can, and it's right here. And there's quite a few diapers and stuff in here. And to be honest with you, no, it's not that good. So what do I do about that? I put my VOG mask on. You know, I put my VOG mask on in, in many situations, but I put it on. Tighten the nose piece, make sure the bottom's where it needs to be, get the straps just right, and I test it out. I don't smell anything right now, to be honest with you. I smell absolutely nothing, even in the worst-case scenarios like this right here. Okay, if you've been a parent or a grandparent, you know what's in here. It's, it's rough, okay? So even a case like this right here, Nothing. It's not that bad. As a matter of fact, it's 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 kept me from smelling it so much, so it's made me actually kind of pretty brave here. So let me show you something I'm actually willing to do right here, live on camera. Slightly, but not too bad. As a matter of fact, it's given me so much confidence, I have no problem taking a bite. I got you. Great mask anyway, even if this had been the real deal. Big Daddy Poo Poo, I would have been all right. I promise you there's plenty of the real ones in the trash can anyway that need to go out. Nonetheless, I love the mask. So thank you, thank you, Vogue Mask, 
for sending these out. Again, if you've ever been interested in one, I hope this helps you make your decision. Very effective, very comfortable mask. I'd wear it every day if I had a chance. That's the way I feel about it. And to all of you who are watching the program, you know, be happy, be proud, be safe. That's what I encourage you to do. And as Vogmas will tell you, be well. And as I'm telling you now, always, friends, stay stronger. Hold up, wait a minute. I almost forgot to tell you how you can win one of these masks. Again, I'm going to be giving these things away. So why not try to win one of them? If you're a transplant patient or someone who's immunosuppressed and think you could be helped by wearing one of these masks, simply go over to my Facebook page, The Transplant Helper. Up near the top of the page, you'll find a message button. Send me a private message. Let me know that you want one of the masks, and I'll be more than happy to put you in a drawing and I'll give away those masks here in about a week or so. So go ahead, go to my Facebook page, The Transplant Helper, message me, let me know you want one of the Vogue masks, and I'll be more than happy through a drawing and a process to hook you up. Again, stay stronger, friends.